all I can say is the dude must have been paid. Uh, he must have been paid. He must have been paid. Um, Tunisia Mali, man. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, first and foremost, obviously, the he, you know, I didn't watch the full game, but towards the end, okay, so he sends off, obviously, the Mali guy for a red card that VAR deemed not to be a red card, but then he upholds the decision. Dodgy, given that it is the video assistant referee, but um, okay, it is what it is. Um, and to be fair, like I'm not completely against the idea of referees overruling VAR at the end of the day because they're seeing the game in real time. And so if they're looking at it and they're like, it's a red, what's the penalty? Is it? So that decision doesn't completely... Um, but you had probably two long VAR decisions. There must have been some additional time. And you blow the whistle before 90 minutes. Sketchy. Very sketchy. Um, because you know Tunisia would be like, listen, um, we're playing against a minus over 10 men now. We could potentially get something from this game. Um, and they have due cause. Now, they, I think they were asked, according to, I think, CAF now, they were asked to... Um, the Mali manager's press conference were interrupted because they basically barged in saying, whoa, 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 we need to go and... Um, play the remaining minutes of, of the game, whatever. Um, I think Tunisia were offered that. I think they refused to do that. So probably it's not the game isn't going to be scheduled or anything like that. The score remains the same. It is what it is. I think Tunisia will protest in their own way. Um, but this is just... Um, <laughs> this is... Um, yeah, this is... Um, it's, it's not a particularly good look for AFCON. Uh, and before everyone forgets, you can't judge all referees by... You know, you remember Jude Bellingham's comments about German officials. So, um, no, this was a particular case. It has got a particular history. Um, so, I think that must must be looked into. But, yeah, it, it's, referee can't referee the reign of the tournament. He can't. He can't, he can't, he can't. He's brought the tournament into disrepute by doing that. Um, and it was absolutely shameful. Um you know, is it was it a mistake or not? I don't really understand how. How do you make? How do you blow a whistle early? Like I don't know. Like I don't get that. I don't get that because usually, you know, their signal, their their. I mean, unless there was some miscommunication between um, the other officials who would usually communicate and say, "Listen, you know, this is how many minutes of extra time that there are." Um, you know, they put it on the board, three or six minutes, whatever. And there wasn't that. I don't know. But it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Um, and uh, this dude is, you know, it's, it's, he's not going to referee for quite some time. Let me know your thoughts on the, on the, <laughs> on the obviously entertaining AFCON tournament. Have a nice day, guys. And cheers.